FIFA Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand is just five days away and it's already shaping up to be one of the most attended women's sporting events of all time. CGTN's Greg Navarro gets our show underway from Sydney, Australia. This park here in Sydney's northern suburbs may not look like it has anything to do with the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup, but in just a couple of days, that's about to change. They're going to put in a giant viewing screen in this corner, create some seating as well. That's because this is one of 40 official viewing venues that are being created not only across Sydney, but across the entire state as well to accommodate those fans who really want to see some of the games this year but have been unable to get tickets. In fact, that demand is driving the sales. Get this of more than 1.2 million tickets so far, both here in Australia as well as New Zealand, where some of those games are being played, making this the most attended Women's World Cup ever. This year's event also includes an expansion of teams to 32, including four from Africa, Morocco, African champions, South Africa, Nigeria and Zambia playing in its first World Cup. And experts believe the expansion of teams has helped China on its path to qualify. Clinched last year when it beat Vietnam in the quarterfinal of the AFC Asian Cup Championship. Now China faces a very tough road ahead in Group D, led by European champion England, Haiti and powerhouse Denmark. In fact, Denmark will be China's first opponent. That game July 22nd played in Perth. China hoping for a much better outcome then the last time those two teams met at the Tokyo Olympics, Denmark winning that one easily by a score of 8-2. to two. Now remember, the top two teams in each group will advance to the knockout stages. Greg Navarro, CGTN, Sydney.